Hey everybody, today I'm going to share something very, very special. We have never shared this anywhere publicly, not on YouTube, not on Facebook, not on WhatsApp groups. We haven't seen it on any other channels. This is for all the people that struggle to pass their speaking section. Again, we've never shared this before, and as far as I know, we're the first ones to come up with this. So before I actually get started, I'm going to explain who this is for and who this is not for. Okay, most of the students, 99% of the students that we get in the class get 90 in their speaking section in the first go. If you're one of those students, ignore this video completely. But we do get a lot of people that speak Punjabi, that speak Gujarati, that speak Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, Marathi, and maybe some people are in IT or they get nervous or they have a very different language that the tone of how they speak in their language is different from somebody who speaks Nepali, for example, or Bengali. So this is only for those people that are talking nonstop, they know formats, they speak fluently, their pronunciation is clear, and they cannot pass the speaking section. Again, if you're one of our students in Sydney, in Melbourne, in Pakistan, online, unless your teacher specifically instructed you to do this, please do not do this at all. This is not a shortcut. And I'll explain in a second why. What tends to happen is if we find a new shortcut, a new trick, we use it for a short period of time. But when a lot of people start doing it, these things change. So we had in the last six months, probably more than 20 or 30 students just in our Sydney office alone. They're really struggling with speaking. They pass their listening, they pass their writing, they pass their reading but they struggle to pass their speaking section. Uh, I can probably count at least 10 off the top of my head. And once we implemented these different strategies, it worked. So in the past, what do we oftentimes do? We had to modify the pitch. We had to do different exercises with the vocal cords. We had to speak in a deeper way, or we had to speak in a happy tone. So all of these things vary from person to person. When it stops working, we don't teach that anymore. And we should do something different that we test in the exam. So what you're about to watch, obviously I cannot show you a video from the real exam, but I will show you some scores. But what you're about to see is the actual demonstration in the PTE mock test of how to implement this in your exam. Specifically, I'm gonna cover for describe image and for retail lecture in the speaking section, a shortcut of how you can get 90 out of 90 in speaking. You don't need to memorize anything. You don't need to worry about it. Now. Again, if you're one of our existing students, don't do this unless we explicitly talk to you and unless we explicitly told you how to do this. This is also not for those people that struggle in read aloud and in repeat sentences. So what's basically the trick? In the past, we used to teach that you have to speak for 33, 34, 35, 36 seconds in describe image in retail lecture. So again, you should still continue to do this. But those people with the issues I just mentioned, you can actually only speak for 20 or 25 seconds maximum and still get 90 out of 90 in speaking. So what we discovered, whenever people talk for 35, 40 seconds, again, for example, a lot of my Nepalese students or Brazilian students or Colombian students, Spanish speakers, Nepali speakers, Portuguese speakers, they don't have any problem with fluency. They talk continuously without stop. They do an excellent job implementing the techniques in the exam. They get 90 out of 90. But again, certain people that I mentioned earlier that cannot pass their speaking, no matter what, this is for them. When they speak for the entire duration of the recording, which you know is up to 40 seconds, they might hesitate a little bit. Even though they know a format, they get a little bit nervous, their voice is trembling, they're shaking a little bit. So what happens? Because you have so many different questions, you got six to seven described images, you get three to four retail lectures, so you got more than 10 questions between those two questions combined. So if you got such a big sample, if I hesitate a little bit, like this, only one time, it's not that big of a deal. You will not fail your exam. But when you're having a lot of those micro hesitations over the course of 10 questions, it adds up to a lot of marks. Because obviously, if I pause for half a second, it's not a big deal. But I if I have 10 
half second pauses within a question, that adds up to like a huge amount of silence. And obviously in PTE, if you got a lot of silence time, a lot of hesitations or extended pauses, it will decrease your speaking score. So what you're about to see is how we can speak for 25 seconds only or 20 seconds even in describe image and retail lecture specifically and get 90 out of 90. We've tried this in the real exam. So one of our trainers here in Sydney has given the exam. In the last two weeks, we've already had three students that couldn't pass speaking for I don't know how many attempts. They all cleared it. And you can see some of the results on our Facebook page. We've also tried this with some of our trainers in Melbourne. We've also tried this with our students in Melbourne. In fact, recently we had a, a gentleman who has attempted PT more than 30 times. Before he came to us, he's given the exam more than 30 times. And even after one attempt, he couldn't clear the speaking section with us. So we implemented this new strategy on him. He was able to get 90 out of 90 in speaking. And again, you will be able to find the score on our Facebook page as well. So let's get right into it. This is the demo of how to do it. So very, very important. Before you actually implement this in your exam, whoever is your teacher, whether it's me, Shan, Baral, Sumesh, um, Aisha or Umar sir, you should consult with your teacher, with your trainer first. This is not a shortcut. You don't do this if you don't have any issues in speaking. Now again, if your issue is read aloud and repeat sentence, this is something that one, your teacher, your trainer should consult with you. Because if you don't have a problem in describe image and retell lecture, don't do this technique. That means we need to work on your repeat sentences and read alouds. But if your trainer said that, you are making too many mistakes in your images and retail lectures. Obviously then consult with one of us. We can sit down with you. We can listen to your recordings. We can test this through our software and we can tell you whether you should use this or not. So again, don't just go to the exam and do this and think that this is a shortcut if you don't have that issue in speaking. But the rest of you guys watch this. All right, there we go. Gonna have some water. All right, good to go. Wish I could skip the preparation time so I can go home, eat dinner, but that's life. By the way, it's a Wednesday night, it's 8.30 p.m. So we're doing this after hours just for you guys, something very special. The main difference on this occasion was that the colonists were not just fighting against the king who was determined to use his own prerogative. Globalization refers to a set of changes rather than a single change. Many of these changes are social, cultural and political rather than purely economic. And one of the main drivers in addition to the global marketplace is the communications revolution. Okay, so here I'm not going to talk for the full 40 seconds. I'm just going to talk for 15 to 20 seconds and read as much of these things as I can. This is line graph road traffic Great Britain. It shows 1952-1960-1976, all motor vehicles, cars and taxis. This image is a line graph. It's about road traffic Great Britain. On the screen I can see 1952, 1960, 1968, 1976, 1984, 1992. On the screen I can see 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. On the screen I can see all motor vehicles, cars and taxis, billion vehicle kilometers. Let's see. Line graph figure one, UK unemployment rate, 1971, 2006, Economic and Social Research Council, percentage 0, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 1971, 73, 78. 
This is a line graph about figure one UK unemployment rate 1971-2006. On the screen I can see economic and social research council. I can see percentages 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I can also see years 1971, 73, 1975, 1977. In conclusion, I can see 2003 and 2005. Coffee industry figures 60 billion growers, 5.5 billion 10 years ago, people, America, Germany, Europeans, Vietnam, coffee industry, Colombia, 1931. This is about coffee industry figures 60 billion, 5.5 billion growers 10 years ago, people, Americans, Germans, Europeans, Vietnam, and coffee. In conclusion. The lecture is about two charts, performance of boys and girls, math in English, six years, 10% above male peers, no real difference, explanation, biological and cognitive factors, interaction, maintain and reinform performance and achievement, development, gender categories. In conclusion, they talk about school, two charts, boys and girls, maths and English. So this is it for this video guys. It means a lot to us and to our team. If you click like right now and you click subscribe, this is how we know that this video was valuable, that it helped you and especially your comments. I personally read every single comment and reply to as many as I can. And the best news is whenever we share free tips and advice and it works for you and you get your score and we get good news. So as a teacher for myself, for Sumesh, for Shan, and all the teachers on our team, this is the best, seeing people get their scores, get their acceptances, get their registrations and their PR. So leave a comment, like, and I'll see you in the next video.